are so many different ways of pasting in Excel. The paste special commands give you a whole variety of options. But you don't need to go reaching for that mouse and wasting time. Coming up, I got four ways of accessing all of those options using keyboard alone, saving you a load of time. Okay, so I'm gonna go through various different ways in which you can use Paste Specials. If you wanna know more about the actual Paste Special commands and some of the great things you can do, stick around because at the end, I'll just run through some of the more quirky things you can do with the Paste Special command that you perhaps haven't seen before. But firstly, here's how you do it all using shortcuts. I'm going to highlight this little table I've got here with Control A and Control C so that I've put it onto the clipboard. Now, if I go over here, the first way you might do it is Control V will, will paste. Now, hopefully, you're probably familiar with this shortcut, but have you ever noticed down here this Control thing that says Paste Options? Now, I know I'm using a mouse at the moment, so bear with me, and you click on here and you can access all of these different shortcuts. We don't need the mouse because if you hit the control key when that appears, you can then use either the arrows to go through all of these different um, options here and then hit enter. So let's say that one there will give me just the values and the number formats or if I hit control and if I had hovered over that, you'll see that it says values and number formatting and then an A in brackets. And similarly, all of these, so that one's a T. And so without the mouse, if I hit the letter T, it will paste transpose that data. So just do that again quickly to show you how fast this would be done in practice. So control A, control C, and I move down there. Control V to paste it, then Control and T, and that's done a transpose of all that data, just a few clicks. Second way of doing it, again, if I just load the clipboard there, Control A, Control C. Now, moving over here, there is a button on the keyboard that simulates a right mouse click. Now, it's on the bottom row near the space bar on mine, just to the right of the Windows key before the control key. If I hit that, I immediately access the menu as if I'd done a right mouse click. And as well as being able to use the arrow keys to go through these various paste things, it's the same thing as before in that I can if you hover over again, you'll see there's different letters that you can access, and they're exactly the same letters. So you can just click those. Do that. Go down to your paste special. Here, I hit A. I get the exact same thing as I did before. Or, again, right mouse click. Along here, T would do the transpose. So that's another way using that right mouse click shortcut, which incidentally is fantastic for all manner of different ways of accessing shortcuts quickly. So the third way that I can use a keyboard to access these paste special commands is, I just load that key clipboard again, control A, control C, and this time, Control Alt V will bring up the Paste Special dialog box immediately. And from there, I can either use the arrow keys and the tab to get between the different sections. Spacebar will tick and untick boxes. Or I can just use the letters. So you can see, for example, on there, transpose has the letter E underlined. So if I hit the letter E, it will tick that box. Uh, hitting it again will untick it, or M, for example, will go straight to multiply. So if you're used to doing the same thing again and again, or you're very quick at reading the screen, that might be one way to go to get to pay special quickly.
So what's the fourth way then? Well, if you're going to be using different types of paste special a lot, you can add them to your quick access toolbar and then access them very quickly using Alt and then the number they are on the toolbar. So let me just demonstrate. If I click on this quick access toolbar here and more commands, now that I'm on here, if I select all commands and click in this area here and push the P, for, um, letter P, get me to the P's in here in the list, you can see all manner of different paste types of paste. I mean, uh, the list goes on and on. And you can see over here, I've already put on one called paste as linked picture. So if I, I'll leave that as it is for the moment, because if I now load the keyboard, the clipboard, sorry, control A, control C again, and move over here, you will see when I hit Alt, my number five, you get these numbers appear at the top. And number five was the command I just added, which was paste as a link picture. And you'll see that that's exactly what it did. So that's so simple. It's just Alt and then the number. So I've done it again, Alt 5. So that's a really fast way of accessing any particular types of paste special that you might use a lot. So a bit of a bonus section, I thought I'd just run through a few of the sort of quirky things you can do with paste specials that you might not have realized you could do. So the first off is to basically multiply everything by a number, more typically divide, but if I put in a cell 1000 and copy it, if I go on here and then by doing the control alt v to access that, I can then just multiply that number by everything on there and hit OK and everything is now multiplied by a thousand. Similarly, I could divide it, which is actually on the I, and we are back to square one. Quite a good little way of rounding numbers in a way, if you like, as a sort of permanent fix. Now, I've just noticed that you need to watch out that I had left it on all. So really what I would want to do is hit V and then um, M so that I paste just the values and multiply them. And that way I don't change my formats at the same time. So why would you want to do a paste special as a linked picture? Uh, apart from the fact that it's quite cool. It's mostly for building kind of dashboards and things. If you've got like say these two tables and you can see that the column width here is 73, but that one's say 96. And I d so if I was to try and put that under there, it's gonna like cut off. And if I make that one wider, things are, things are getting distorted and it's not ideal. But if I just copy that and paste it as a linked picture, now I can position it exactly under there and I don't need to worry about any of my columns lining up. But you might say, well, yeah, but why not just paste it as a picture? You know, you've got copy and paste as a picture here. What's the difference? Well, the difference is, and this is another great little shortcut, is it's dynamically linked back to the original data. So on here, if I then hit control and I'll go to change the format, for example, so say I want to put a heat map on that and hit OK, my picture instantly gets the heat map too because it's linked back to the original. How cool is that? And as one final bonus, if you highlight an area, you'll see that a bit like you got with the control button, you have this quick analysis, control Q as well you can use, but you actually just need to hit the control key. And then you can use the arrows to move through these little menus and tab to basically move through the various um, options within those menus. So fantastic, if you want to do a quick little chart, for example, there, 
Another really little handy feature in Excel you can access through the keyboard. Hope you got something out of all of that and that it saves you plenty of time from your working day. See you soon.